Sorry. All right, let's take a look at the dev update. Dev update. I'm Andre, also known as Medla. I'm and Medla. I'm Paul, also known as Pablo. We're back with another dev update today. It's September 10th, so everything after today won't be covered. We've got a wide range of topics to cover. It's September today, 10th, including matchmaking, team art, the day before and update, 9/11, lol player days, a bet on worlds, and a quick look at season 2025. But first, let's hear from the mod. It is kind of funny that the day I traveled is the day they stopped sharing new things. So it makes it look like. So it makes it look like I. Yo, Sway Jacuzzi, what's wrong with you, man? Why are you being rude, man? Medler is cool. Pablo is cool. Let's see what they have in store for us. Have some respect, man. A bet on worlds and a quick look at season 2025. But first, let's hear from the modes team. Hey everyone, Eduardo, Riot Cadmus Cortejoso here to give you an update on the Eduardo modes. is going to hook us up, man. For us. Not only did Arena make its return for round three, but we also launched Swarm. We love Swarm. These modes have been such a joy for all of us to work on. And so on behalf of the entire modes team, thank you all for playing. Our pleasure, now, man. let's get into the future of Arena and Swarm. I'll start with the question everyone's been asking. Are you going to make Arena permanent? The short answer is... No. That's very short. While Arena has been getting a lot of love from many of you, once we hit the two-month mark, we saw a pretty big drop-off in game hours and engagement. Unfortunately, even our mid-run content update didn't quite inspire a lot of players to come back. But don't worry. Arena won't be gone forever. We're planning on bringing it back in the first half of next year with some much-needed quality of life improvements and even some more wacky augments for you to play around with. I think most of the time when it comes to, like, uh, bloated companies like that are like of a really, really great size of like Riot Games or anything else. I think it's less about people being overpaid. I think there's like, usually people are just overhired. And I think in a lot of cases, there's just too many people working. At least, at least that's what I keep seeing, you know? And, and then when people are overhired, there's, there's a, there's a, there's a very big pressure on you to carry momentum. So things get pushed out fast, you know? Now, it just seems Swarm. to be the, the difficulty so from of the beginning, Swarm was scaling never intended when it comes to, to being game a game company. And that's still the case right now. I know game a lot developer. of us, myself included, look back fondly on both Star Guardian and Odyssey, but Swarm actually surpassed both of these modes in terms of player engagement. And while we don't have a decision on if or when Swarm will be back just yet, given how much you all played, we're taking some of the learnings into consideration for future game modes and even the potential return of Swarm. I also wanted to let you know that Ultimate Spellbook will be returning as our next rotating game mode. It's already on PB right now, and we'll be going out next patch. And I can tell you as well, like I was on the Riot campus, right? I was on the Riot campus during Worlds. This was a long time ago. This was during Worlds 2015. And I was in LA and America for the first time, and I had very little reason to leave the campus. The food was insane. The coffee was perfect. I had food 24-7, snacks 24-7. There was every, every damn console times three. Uh, there was PC bungs, uh, endless. It was, it was fantastic, man. Before I go, I wanted to talk a little bit about ARAM. We know ARAM hasn't gotten much focus this year outside of regular balance updates. But don't worry, ARAM enjoyers. We got something cooking for you that will be oven fresh before the end of the year. That's it for the modes team for now. Make sure to check out the dev blog that comes out with this video. Do you know what we need in ARAM, guys? We need four teams. And we need, we need it to be an X, okay? We need the map to be an X, and you just have four teams of five approaching the middle. And it's all about controlling the middle. With little, like, jungle paths crossing between the Xs. And we're going to have mayhem. Absolute mayhem. <laughs> for more information on both Swarm and Arena. And we'll be back in January. ARAM Dominion, baby. Through some of our plans in 2025. Hey, everyone. I'm Riot Froxon. I'm here to talk to you about matchmaking. Today, we wanted to take a moment to look at how some well, of the we changes we've we on League, have landed and to share the areas we're looking to tackle next. Earlier this year, we had an issue causing some accounts to enter negative LP states. This meant players would lose more LP per loss than they'd gain per win. Oh, that's going to turn into a meme. No? That's going to turn into some... Uh, some uh, that's going to fucking turn into a meme big time. So I am just in a negative LP state right now, bro. Like, uh, usually I am master GM, but I'm currently in a negative LP state. 
and it's not my fault. Even if their MMR indicated they should be climbing. As of today, we no longer see this problem. Another problem nice. we've been working on is autofilling. We don't want games to be decided by which team has fewer autofilled players. So we ship some changes in 1417 to better balance the amount of filled players in each team. At the time of recording, we've noticed some pretty good improvements with the amount of games with an autofill discrepancy of two or more players Damn. dropping from 10 to 15% to less than 0.1%. Damn. Yo, a... what was the problem? <laughs> Yo, what was the problem? It looked like, it seems like, bro, oh, we just have to press this button here? All right. <laughs> Today, games with two zero or three one autofill players have been effectively eliminated. Damn. This is a good first step, but we want to do more work in this area. Next up, we'll be move. working on situations where one team has an autofilled player and the other doesn't, with a focus on high MMR, where this problem is especially impactful because of the small player populations. We've also got an evaluation underway on a system called True Skill 2 that could potentially help out meaningfully with things like better placing new accounts and detection of Smurfs. As of now, we're actively testing its effectiveness and determining how good a fit it is for League. We'll let you all know once we have an update on what testing has shown. And that's it for me today. Make sure to check out the dev blog that just came out with a lot more details on how our 2024 changes landed and where we're looking to focus our efforts going forward. All right, a slight change of pace. Let's talk about Timo's art and audio update. It's coming to the Riffin patch 1420 nice. with updated 420. visuals, audio, <laughs> <Nice>. animations, <laughs> and splash art. We Gameplay won't be changing, so for those of you who love or hate Timo, you're welcome and or we're sorry, maybe. When this update comes out, we'll be increasing the cost of his Happy Elf, Recon, and Badger skins to 750 given the increased quality on those skins. As with Lee Sin's update earlier in That's... the year, if you don't own these skins yet, you can purchase them for 520 RP until it goes live if you want to get them at that cheaper price. If you'd like to learn Damn, more, Rise check out our blog today that goes into a whole bunch of details about our favorite little monster and making him look brand new. Also, Timo's receiving a theme song, which will go live next week. Here's a sneak peek. It has to be fluid. Switching topics, what? we got world's Bro, they are making him too much like Earth. What happens on Earth stays on Earth. Bro, where was the flute? Yeah, we needed we needed I I was expecting a Zelda flute. Oh. <laughs> 2025 kicking off in Let's say we got this which will go live next week. Well, it sounds Here's like a World beat. Cup song. When I get older, I will be stronger. We got me freedom. freedom. Hey, I'm a living September 25th with planes in Berlin. After Berlin, in it's Berlin. Paris. It's good that they said playing in Berlin, bro. They don't say playing in the Berlin studio, LEC studio. They say playing in Berlin. For both quarterfinals and semifinals, followed by London for the finals. This year, we've brought back Pickums, along with a new feature we're calling Global Power Rankings. We think should be good if you want to get up to speed on teams or regions that you're less familiar with. Or maybe you just want to argue with our rankings about how your favorite teams stack up against their competition globally. We just dropped a dev blog that explains global power rankings in more detail, so go check it out if you want to learn more. And finally, the world's anthem will drop tomorrow, so keep your eyes and ears peeled for that. In case you missed it, this year's world's artist is Linkin Park. Along with Worlds in October, we'll also be celebrating League Player Days. I am very curious, like, I'm very curious how the fan base is going to react to, to Linkin Park. I'm, I'm curious. Because cause I can see both sides of the argument, right? It's like a band, it's a family, a family, like they, they, they should make a new name, you know, to make a return. Seven years have passed. I think, I think everything that went down seven years ago, you know, I think, I think Linkin Park was, is, is, is just it, you know, Linkin Park. I, at least in my mind, I think it was a band that, like, bro, everyone was in tune with, you know? Um, there was some controversy, whatever, but, you know, you have to bust out the... Separate the art from the artist card again, you know? Separate the art from the artist card, as per usual. I didn't listen to any any, any new business. I didn't listen to, to her sing. I didn't listen to, to how they sound. So I'm, 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 I'm curious to, to, to listen to it. I'm going in with an open mind, and, and we shall see. 
But I'm curious to see where the community kind of lands on it, you know? They should have just made a new band, really. I, I, I don't think they should have. Like, I, I understand, but I, I do think that it would be unfair to everybody else. You know? I think it would be unfair to everybody else. Celebration of your league journeys over the last 15 years. Player days will be three themed days that celebrate players of all kinds, from casual enjoyers to hardcore ranked climbers. The celebration will kick off with creative day, with the focus especially on artists, then music okay. day to celebrate our true calling, being a music company, and finally, Esports <laughs> Day to highlight the ultimate competition right. in League. On each day, we'll share stories from players Honestly, I I have to say, you guys remember when the 10-year anniversary League of Legends stuff was going down and Arcane came out? Like, I was filled, my heart was filled with such joy. Like, I was fucking getting teary-eyed throughout the whole thing. I remember back to that day and I feel, you know, there are certain things that fill us with a sense of wonder, you know, I think. I think the ranked videos, I think the world championship, I think Arcane. It's such a high bar of content that we've gotten used to that is very difficult to uphold, I think, for Riot. Which is partially the reason why I think the MMO is never going to happen. Because I feel like the expectation is that the sense of wonder and feeling that we get from these things in terms of the world building is going to be replicated in the MMO, you know? And that's just an impossible task. But well, let's see. I remember uh, it was said that 2025 is going to have the biggest investment into League of Legends. So I want to see what that really means. Around the globe about what League means to them. There'll also be some missions you can complete for earnable in-game content, including a very special and severe Siver skin. No. Huh? Yep. There'll also be three player day skins available for purchase, with proceeds going towards the Riot Games Social Impact Fund. These will be Cosplay Anika, Esports Fan Trundle. Nice. Oh shit, that bro. Play that is so fucking funny, dude. Esports fan. That is so fucking funny. <laughs> that is so fucking funny. It's like, oh, these fucking esports fans are a bunch of trolls. They're <laughs> super. <laughs> fan Trundle. And finally, the skin you've all been waiting decades for, celebrating love for the music of KDA, the one, the only, Gragas. Huh? What the? F <laughs> no way, right? <laughs> the only, Gragas. Oh my god! The purchase of these three player day skins from October 9th to October 28th, 2024, Riot will contribute 100% of proceeds as well as a 3x match to the Riot Games. Oh damn! That is pretty insane. Trip 3x match and 100% of the proceeds? That is really, really insane. That is really, really like. I'm buying all three, bro. That is that is one hundred percent. The festivities kick that off on really October cool. 9th, which will Props also arrive, have a dev Q and A stream at two p.m. Pacific time. Join to have some fun with lead devs, hear some stories from the old days, celebrate all of you, and just hang out. But we want to be clear: there won't be any big announcements or new games. So please stop by and say hi, chat about league, and meme with us or on us. While Player Days is all about celebrating your league journeys over the past fifteen years, we also want to talk a bit about our plans for next year. Starting in 2025, we're evolving our approach with League Seasons. Throughout the year, we'll have three distinct thematic seasons, each bringing its own narrative, progression, and content updates. Ooh. Our goal is for each season to feel distinct, Bold. with different 
experiences, themes, moments, etc. highlighted. So that means Ooh. in 2025, each season will include a new champion that's a core part of that season's thematic, with some connection to champions from other seasons as well. Ooh. Each season will also have gameplay updates too, of course. One thing we'll be tackling for the first season next year is how a game can feel doomed once you have an exposed nexus, and quite often, people lose motivation to continue to fight. So we're gonna... You know what they're gonna do? They're gonna make the nexus fight back. I'm telling you, dude, the Nexus is fighting back. I'm telling you guys, the Nexus is fighting back. Exploring options and how to solve this experience and hope to bring a more competitive feel right to the very end of the game. Now, we'll look at some larger scope changes as well, of course, but we're gonna be saving those for a little bit. We know we didn't get into too much detail on gameplay today. We'll have a lot more though on our January plans and a dev update in November, a few days after the finale of Arcane. All right, so that's it for now. Don't forget to finalize your pickums, tune into Worlds, read the dev blogs, and join us for player days. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the Rift. See okay. Bye. All right, well, that's fun. That's fun.